Thank you guys for joining in again. This is your host, Fashion Forward Always. Thank you again for tuning in this week again. We have a lot of steals coming up, so let's just get into it. First up is an oversized tee from Daniel Patrick in a size medium for $72 shipping from the US. Daniel Patrick is iconically known for his elevated basics. A lot of his basics have like slightly, like, slight tweaks in them that make them a lot better and more tailored to the modern, I guess, streetwear aesthetic. It's this very washed olive color, which I kind of really dig because it's not one all flat olive. It looks like some parts are lighter, some parts are darker, which I totally dig. I'd give it around an eight and a half out of 10, mainly because there has been some wear, which is kind of, kind of visible from um, the necks and all like the seams, but not too bad. And also this is supposed to look like it has been washed and worn a bit. Next up is a tee from Our Legacy from their Spring Summer 15 collection. This size medium tee is gonna cost you around $36 shipping from the EU. I think this is an extremely nice t-shirt just for somebody looking for higher quality basics, which is generally what Grill Grabs is since it's more on the cheaper end. Our Legacy is probably on par with like APC in proportion to like price per what you get, maybe even better than APC. The tee is gonna be of a waffle knit material, not just your basic cotton tee. So you guys have to take that into account. It does have like a waffle pattern. I'll throw up some pics up there. The condition is 10 out of 10, brand new with tags. Next up is Raph Simmons from his iconic um, 2000 spring summer collection. Summer cum laude. Summa cum laude. So this summa cum laude spring summer 2000 tea in a size medium. It's in this nice burgundy. I just think it's one of the, I'd say a pinnacle of Raph's career, like one of them. It has like an 11 on the back. It looks super dope, but it is gonna cost um, a pretty penny. This tea is gonna cost you $465. Not saying that it's 100% worth it, but I'm just saying that if you guys are a collector of, you know, vintage Raph Simmons uh, clothing and stuff like that, this is definitely a collection that you definitely, I just said definitely twice. This is something that you do want to look for. This is an extremely rare tee and I haven't really seen too many floating around, but you know, guys, just take a look if you guys think it's worth it. But the condition, I'd give it around an eight and a half out of 10, mainly because it is old, but the condition isn't as bad for how old it is. It's 16 years old, so that might even be older than some of you guys watching right now. Now that we're done with tops, on to outerwear. And first up for outerwear is an oversized bomber by Cheap Monday. This is tag size small, but it actually fits more towards like a medium to like a large. This is gonna cost you around $87 shipping from the EU. I think this is an extremely nice basic bomber for anybody who hasn't purchased like a bomber before or they want a better quality bomber if you guys have one from like H&M or Zara. A lot of people compare Cheap Monday to the quality of Acne Studios or APC. I'd give it around a nine and a half out of 10 because there really isn't that much wear on the bomber and plus it's a black bomber so it won't really show wear too well. Next up is an absolutely stunning bomber and a very unique piece from Gum de Garçon. This size medium bomber is gonna cost you $359 shipping from the US. It's it's a very interesting bomber because it's a reversible bomber. It's like a reversible blazer bomber. The pics will show it perfectly. It's a bomber on the outside that has these nice like buttons and stuff like that. But then when you reverse it, it looks like a thick blazer, which I just like, like I'm not sure about you guys, but like this is definitely something that's completely out of the box. I wasn't even like, like is that possible boy? Like Comme de Garçon really has some innovative ideas and I think this is definitely one of them. I'm not sure what year this was released, but it does look extremely impressive. Neo Bazel. The condition for this, I'd give it around a nine out of 10, mainly because it has been worn a bit and does have a little bit of fading on the blazer side, but I definitely think that it's worth it for anybody who's looking for one of those unique pieces in the wardrobe. Last up is an APC uh, Kanye collaboration item again. It's their Sherpa bomber, but not a traditional bomber jacket, like all like the hype beast and like fear of God hyped up. This Sherpa bomber is gonna cost you $450. $450 for a size medium. This is an extremely, extremely beautiful bomber. This is very, I would say higher class than all the fear of God looking bombers. Cause this is a more eloquent and a little bit more 
sophisticated bomber. You could probably throw on like a dress shirt underneath it and go out, you know, looking like a fucking baller. I'd give it around a nine and a half out of 10 because there is no visible wear that I can see from those pictures that the seller has provided. Now that we're done with outerwear, onto bottoms. And first up for bottoms is from John Elliott. The pants is gonna be their Alma uh, sweatpants in a size 30 for $120 shipping from the US. John Elliott is also definitely known for their basics, mostly their sweatpants. That's what really got him recognize he kind of elevated sweatpants from being some like casual like super casual kind of um, kind of not appropriate for like wearing outside if you like care about yourself into something that's extremely stylish now and like looked up upon from a lot of people I'd give it around an eight and a half out of ten mainly because there's a small very very small speck towards the bottom right of um, of one of the legs, I believe. That's what the seller said. He does have more pictures in the grilled, um, grilled listing, so definitely check that out. Next up is an APC Navy Chino. This US 30 Chino is gonna cost you around $150 shipping from Canada. I feel like this pair of chinos will look amazing. Like I've seen a lot of pictures of like more menswear people for like inspiration and a lot of them have navy chinos that were cropped a little bit above so they show a little bit of ankle and with a pair with a pair of white shoes just either common projects or all white stan smiths and they look amazing like that's a very sophisticated look which i think a lot of people should opt into rather than going like full fuck boy i'll give it around a nine and a half out of ten because there's little to no visible wear on the pair of pants next up is a sort of unique item from julius this is going to be from the spring summer 14 collection it's going to fit a us 30 and this is going to be their frayed shorts Frayed? Frayed shorts. This is gonna cost you around 162 hours shipped from the US. This is a very unique item, which I kind of categorize it in the same area as Rick Owens. I know some fashion purists will like complain to me and like write down on the comments, but I do think they have a lot of the same um, aesthetic goals where it's all black and white and very minimal. These frayed pants consist of like silk, they consist of like rayon, like it's extremely high quality frayed pants, which I think a lot of people can pull off. I've seen a lot of people online pull them off, but in actual application, I feel like that would work possibly New York Fashion Week or somewhere more fashion oriented, maybe in a high, densely populated um, city. Now that bottoms are done, I have shoes. And first up for shoes is an Adidas Ultra Boost in a 10 for $108 shipping from the US. Honestly, one of the most comfortable shoes of all time. And for $108, this is an extremely, extremely good steal. Like usually these things never go on sale and this is so comfortable. Like. It's honestly something I would wear forever if I could. I'd give it around an eight out of 10 because it is a little bit dirty, but it is so easy to clean up and it does come with the original box. Next up is an A6 collab with Atmos for their duck camo um, gel light three and a US seven and a half. This is gonna cost you $162 shipping from the US. I think this is a very unique collab, especially with Atmos because they really, really like to focus on their camo prints from Nike's Air Max ones and like their Atmos Air Max 90 collabs and etc. A lot of their collabs are camo focused and I think this is perfect for the fall because it does have some orange for the duck camo. So I think it fits with the fall winter color palette. This is a 10 out of 10 dead stock shoe, so definitely check that out if this is more your type of style. Next up is Common Projects Chelsea Boots in a US 9. This is gonna cost you $450 shipping from the US. Now, Common Projects, I forgot to mention last video, is also one of the biggest sellers or biggest uh, names in Chelsea Boots, and I completely forgot about that. My bad. But this looks phenomenal. I can imagine like either somebody putting like their pants over it or on top of it. I think Chelsea boots, they're growing on me a lot more and I probably will pick something up. Like I think the crepe sole just looks, mm, wow. Definitely check it out. This shoe is gonna be a 10 out of 10 dead stock condition. First up is Yves Saint Laurent, Kidi Sulman um, photo book and like an interview book. It's more like a coffee table book where you can like flip through and like it looks really cool and you can read about like what his ideas are through the interview. This is gonna be $81 shipping from Asia. This is actually one of the few last remaining uh, sealed copies of this. So I believe this is out of production now. So $81 for a very unique coffee book type of item. Kitty is a very iconic 
figure and fashion from just how he revived Yves Saint Laurent from relatively average uh, sales to like one of the highest brands of like the past few years they've elevated so much and that's what kind of worries me about the newest uh, head of director so that's why I hope it's in good hands but we'll have to wait next up is an APC gold necklace for $90 shipping from the US just a basic gold necklace that's uh, 24 inches long and I really think you can't really go wrong with it it's a very basic necklace and it's just something if you want to start out buying jewelry or menswear jewelry this is a perfect place to start I give it around a nine and a half out of ten just through basic wear and I heard from some people that the gold might rub off and that it's actually possibly sterling silver don't quote me on that but it might be last but not least is another Yves Saint Laurent piece and it's a monogram card holder this is going to cost you $110 shipping from the US this is honestly just a basic card holder from like just Yves Saint Laurent with their basic um, insignia on top of it you can't really go wrong and if you're looking for like a card holder which I know definitely I am $110 for Yves Saint Laurent card holder really isn't that bad I'd give it around an eight and a half out of ten mainly because the Saint Laurent Paris um, little gold uh, stamp is starting to fade a little bit but honestly through wear it's gonna fade regardless so there's no stopping it. So thank you guys again for watching another week's worth of Grailed Grabs. Comment below which is your favorite Grailed of the list and tweet me at Kevin Loves Rice if you find any Grails throughout the week. I can mention it and I can feature you guys in the video. Um, follow me on uh, Instagram. I'm still new to like fucking plugging myself. Uh, Kevin.IMG. You guys can also follow me on Snapchat at Kevin Loves Rice. I know I'm, I'm fucking cringy. So yeah, keep subscribed. I have a possible video collaboration in the work with my bro Jacob. You know who I, you know, you know, you know. Wow. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.